One of the employees killed in Friday's explosion is Frank Flores. Today we learned about a wrongful death lawsuit filed on behalf of his family. Channel 2's Andy Sirota is live downtown with what happened today in civil court in regards to the investigation. Andy, good evening. Christine, good evening to you. Frank Flores' family claims that employees were never warned that the plant wasn't safe. Right now, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms is in control of the blast site. The attorney representing the Flores family tells me before this week is over, he hopes to have his team of experts inside the blast zone surveying the site. Frank Flores was usually one of the first to arrive at work. As a lead supervisor, he would open up the shop. Early Friday morning, Flores and his colleague Gerardo Castareña were working out in the gym before starting their shift when the blast went off, killing them both. Today, a judge cleared the way for a team of investigators, including explosion and material experts, to inspect the explosion site after granting two temporary restraining orders filed by the attorneys representing the Castareña and Flores families. Without preservation of the site, it becomes extremely difficult for the plaintiffs to prove their case. From this point on, all physical evidence from the scene must be preserved, along with all documents related to the purchase of propylene, the chemical that was being stored at the facility. All witness statements and all pictures and videos, including surveillance images related to the incident, and any statements given to government agencies. A survey of the blast site will also be conducted from the air using a high-resolution camera. The Castoranias also asked that additional evidence be preserved. We've requested that they preserve all electronic data um, as well as anything that might be stored off-site. One of the attorneys representing Watson Grinding and Manufacturing was inside the courtroom but had no comment after today's proceedings. We reached out to the company for a statement and a spokesperson referred us to the original statement it sent out on Friday after the deadly explosion. You can find that statement on our website, clicktohouston.com. Two more hearings are scheduled, one on February 6th and another on February 10th. Live downtown tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Andy, thank you.